Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk and welcome to a box opening of Star Wars Unlimited Spark of the Rebellion two player starter set. I also have a couple of booster boxes that I'm going to be opening as well. So, yeah, I've I've played the demo and then last weekend I did some pre-releases and <coughs> I pre-ordered this. I'm, I pretty much went all in, guys, and I probably will do a video talking about the pre-release and some of the stuff I bought, but I went all in for Star Wars Unlimited. I love the gameplay. I want to learn the card game as well as possible so that way I can be up to date on it, and I just wanted to pop open the um, starter set and show you guys what comes in the starter set. If you haven't seen already, I know there's been a million videos. I know I've been late, but this weekend was awesome con. I did not have the chance to crack any packs or get my pre-orders or anything. But this is my first look into the, the starter deck, so let's crack right into it. So. Ooh, one card deck. nothing in there let's see where is the, the camera so we're all good nothing in there so here's our two decks i'll put them right here right now we get two boxes we get because we know that our commanders in this is going to be luke and uh luke and leia luke and vader uh eh, i have a binder i'm putting stuff in i might do a tour of that we have some token sets i have plenty of tokens due to the pre-release you get a quick starter guide you know so if you need to know the rules and stuff like that, I might keep it. And I have enough play mats that these are cool. I'll probably keep them just due to the, the, the artwork and stuff like that. But you know, you get a Darth Vader poster and pretty much tells you where you, stuff needs to go. So you have your base, you have your leader, then you have space units, you have ground units, your resources, your deck, and your discard pile. <coughs> And then your initiative counter over here on your left hand side and I like that it gives you if you haven't played this before it does give you some step by step processes on where to put the stuff and I'll show you the loot poster just in case I am the first video you've seen crack this or maybe they didn't crack open all these but it's pretty much just the card art some resource stuff on the back again and then you get your loot poster as well So, but let's crack into these packs. You, we pretty much know what we're going to get because they tell you pretty much on the box what's in these packs. We'll move the, the Vader one over here. But we need the Luke and the Vader because the ones you get in your pre-release, the foil ones, you're, they're not really supposed to be played in official play. So these are the ones we got to use if you decide to use it. Man. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys here real quick. That's probably gonna be all I can do. So we have Luke Skywalker. He's your leader in this pack with his card here. And we get Administrative Tower, which is your base. And then you're, we get some tokens, which are good. They're dual-sided, so you have your shield, so you have your your experience which gives you a plus one plus one for any of your attacks and then you get shield tokens which are great because they absorb all damage that are flung at you and then let's get into this so we got a b1 medical droid we get r2d2 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 x-wing alliance x-wing alliance x-wing c-3po 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 Rebel Pathfinder, Restored, Art 170, great unit because it has Restore 1, so that helps you get your base stuff gone, doing good. So I love that you have that, but it's a Rebel, so I'm not pretty much playing it. Leia, Leia is also, I, I really think is a good card because you get the Ready Exhausted Resource unit, Some rebel, a Rogue Operative, Fleet Lieutenant, Fleet Lieutenant's and Snow Trooper Lieutenants, I think it's Snow Trooper Lieutenants, really good because when you play them, you get to attack with the unit and they get plus two, plus zero to attack. 
So very good card in my opinion. I'll probably be using the Snowtrooper Lieutenant a lot. And then we got Wing Leader. We got Yoda, which is a Restore 2 as well. Great for your base building if you want to protect your base a lot. Cloud City, Wing Guard, good for if you want to do some Sentinel on your ground side. System Patrol Craft, same if you want to do that. I've seen a lot of hate coming out for this Consular Security Force. I get it. It's a 3-7. It's not that you know great of a card. But if you have a card that gives something Sentinel and you put Sentinel on this, they're going. it's going to take them a while to ping this card. So I think... And when I was playing, of course, they weren't built decks. Counselor, you know, Security Force helped me out a couple times. Um, Azure Tech Liberty Gunship, pretty good. It has Ambush, so it comes in ready and can attack. Dodana gives you that plus one, plus one is also good. Snow Snoop Eater gives you that plus one. Chewbacca, he's a beast. He's got Sentinel. When this unit is attacked, ready him. It's just, you know... It's good. Vigilante has Sentinel. This Obi-Wan, I think, is really good as well when it's playing against him. When he has Sentinel, so you got to attack him. And when defeated, he gives two experience tokens to another friendly unit card. So if, if it's a force unit, if it's a force unit, draw a card. So not only do they get two plus one plus one counters on them, they get a draw a card. I think is really good. Especially if you're playing with like a Luke or another force user. It's just it's value, engine value right there. Han Solo, another good card in my opinion. Resilient. Luke's lightsaber, these are good. Um, when I was playing in my Vader deck for the demo day, I had Vader's lightsaber. And I once, if I came out with Vader and I put that lightsaber on, it was, it was pretty much over for the guy. Resupply. Shoot first. Asteroid Sanctuary, which is pretty good. You get to exhaust the unit and give a seal token to a friendly unit. It costs three or less. It's always good. Supply Strike. Surprise Strike. Waylaid, such a good card. Um, if you're playing your kind of control deck, you need to have Waylay in there because that it just returned a lead, non unit leader to the owner's hand. When I was doing my pre release, I had so many people have Waylay. Like one of my friends had a kind of like a control deck. I couldn't bring anything out. Anything I brought out, he pretty much Waylaid it. I was in, or I used another card and I was good. Vanquish, defeat a non unit leader, another good card, kind of control card, kind of. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Rebels. Rebels are... I'm probably not going to do Rebels, guys. I'm probably going to do... Um, I'm definitely... So I have four decks in mind I want to play. The first one, and the card has been eluding me, is Thrawn. Um, I kind of already built the deck online. I kind of want to see how it plays in, out in person. So we'll see. I don't know, you know, but I have not got them yet. But then I want to do a... My second runner-up is Grand Moff Tarkin deck. And then I also want to do a... Boba deck, and I also want to do an Emperor Palpatine deck. Palpatine is hard because you gotta <coughs> you gotta get him out quickly and stuff like that, or you gotta power him up quickly, get his resources out. So we have Darth Vader here, and then his you know unit card. So when he attacks, you can deal do two damage to a unit. So you can do pretty much seven damage to a unit, or you can do five damage to a unit and two damage to another unit. And then if you have his uh, lightsaber equipped, that's just another value engine right there, in my opinion. So we get command center. I got so many command centers. Uh, and then again, we get some more. We get some more experience tokens. I'm keeping these aside because I might have to play with Vader's deck tomorrow, because I'm going to go to my open uh, one of my game stores first, uh, Star Wars Unlimited, and I if I don't crack enough cards that I need in the in these two booster boxes, then uh, I'm going to have to play with a starter deck. So TIE Fighter. I love the TIE Fighter. I did like kind of a Voltron thing where I would, you know, put the plus one, plus one counters on him. I'd put some other counters on him and they, he'd get pretty beefy. That's Star Trooper. Pretty good. 3-1 with a one pip. It's I think that's a, a strong card as well because it's cheap. It does a lot of damage. And then like if you're playing some decks, you can ping them off and, you know, get another trick. Admiral Ozel. Play an Imperial, you know, action tap this card, play an Imperial unit, ready. Done that a couple times. People kill this card a lot of times. First Legion Snow Trooper, when attacking a damaged unit, this unit gets plus two, plus zero, and gains Overwhelm. So that's also a pretty good card. Admiral Mahdi. Uh, people you kill this card every time I play him. Because whenever he gets defeated, he readies a, you know, villainous card. So 
People don't seem to like that too much. Oops. Yeah, here we go. Our Snow Trooper Lieutenant, same as the Fleet Trooper Lieutenant. When when played, you may re attack with a unit. If it's an Imperial unit, it gets plus two, plus zero for this turn. So, great card. Probe Droid, love it, because you get to look at your opponent's hand, see what he's doing, see what he has in his hand. That's helped me out a lot. Piet, Admiral Piet, a lot of times people kill this guy too, because he can, um, if I cast a six or more, if I cast a unit that costs six or more, it gains ambush. So people don't really like giving me that chance. OP card here. Love this card. Super laser technician. When defeated, you put this unit into play as a resource when ready. And when you play like an emperor deck, this is what you need. Quick ramp. Bring them out. Next turn, attack. Use that turn. Use Emperor Palpatine's ability. Tap him for one damage. Draw a card. Put him back into the resource, the resource pool. Just ramp right there right away and you get three of those in this card cell block guard pretty decent let's get sentinel so you have to attack him you can't attack the base or any other ground unit general veer is another good one like the dodana general dodana one you get plus one plus one and your imperial units grandma of Tarkin, search five search the top five cards of your library uh deck and up for up to two imperial cards reveal them and draw them and then put the other ones in the bottom of your library. I think that's a good value. Get that card, get that card draw. Another good one. I love the inter Imperial Interceptor because you damage, put three damage onto a space unit. And it helps kind of control when you're doing, when people are pinging you over and over again with space. It helps. This is one other one. Tide Advance. Give two experience tokens to another friendly Imperial unit. Oh, that's always good. ATST gets overwhelmed. It's a beast of a cost of six. But it's a 6-7 with Overwhelm, so you can attack a unit to stop it from attacking your base. And if it's a weak enough unit, you can deal damage directly to their base afterwards. Gladiator Star Destroyer, kind of like it. I'm on the fence on this card. Some people really love it. But you get to, um, you know, whew, sorry. You get to give something else. Sentinel, Blizzard Assault. This one, when this, when this unit attacks and defeats a unit, you may deal damage deal the excess damage from this attack to an enemy ground unit so you not really overwhelmed but oh Emperor Palpatine excellent excellent card uh, but it costs a lot but when you do win play deal six damage divided as you choose among enemy units it's enemy units not the base so you're going you know you can wipe a board pretty well I did it at one time using this wiping one of his board relentless nice card as well it's also a rare card the first event played by each opponent round loses their abilities, so you negate their event card for the first round. Like I said, Vader's Fist, just like or Vader's Fist, Vader's lightsaber, like Luke's lightsaber. Uh, you can play it on any unit that's not a vehicle, and it gets plus three, plus one. But if you play it on Vader, if attached unit is Darth Vader, you may deal four damage to a ground unit. So four damage right away to a ground unit is just beastly. Resupply, search the top five cards. Five cards of your deck for a unit, reveal it, draw it, put the other cards at the bottom of the deck. So if you need a card, or this is recruit, not resupply. Force choke, kind of a good one. If you control a force unit, this event costs one less to play, so it's only a one pip if you have a force unit. Deals five damage to a non-vehicle unit that unit's controller draws a card. Resupply, put this event into play as a resource exhausted. So Eh, it's in my opinion it's okay I might most of the time I'm probably gonna be just you know playing this card as a resource anyways open fire I love deal four damage to a unit that is just in my opinion really good so you get a couple of those I am your father this I love this card um, I want a couple more of these cards deal seven damage to an enemy unit unless the controller says no if they do draw three cards so you're telling them either I'm gonna kill this unit or you give me three cards depending on the case a lot of the times people gave me the three cards which then gave me card power and I and, you know I just had resources days on in maximum firepower I like this card as well because you you pull this out pick a imperial unit they attack a unit if it doesn't kill it then you have another friendly imperial unit attack as well and kill you know and an overwhelming barrage as well give a friendly unit plus two plus two for this phase then deals damage equal to its power divided as you choose brilliant cards so guys, yeah, I am very interested. I think 
I'm very interested in this deck. I want to see how it does. Well, these cards, this game in, in general. I might put, like I said, the beta one, I'm probably going to put in his box just because I might need it for the game tomorrow. But guys, have you guys played Star Wars Unlimited? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, but that is all I got time for today. Stay back for me opening up uh, some booster boxes. But guys, if you haven't done so already, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel out greatly, and I do truly appreciate you all. And this is Darth Shep, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.